Setting up an LG Smart TV with WebOS is easier and more fun than ever thanks to the arrival of Beanbird, star of these colorful and simple to understand graphics. When you first power up the TV, you'll see that he's already eager to help, showing you how to get started with the LG Magic Remote. He's telling you to click this button in the center of the directional arrows. You'll see Beanbird sleeping, so just use the remote to click on him to wake him and begin setting up the TV. First, where are you? This will determine the TV's language, location, and time zone. Click on the appropriate answer, keeping in mind that time zone is organized by a big city in each zone. When you've answered all three, click OK, and you'll see this confirmation screen. Next, it's time to get connected to the Internet. Pretty straightforward, but we cover this in its own video as well. When you're done, you'll see this screen. Click OK, and you'll see this confirmation screen. You'll also have the option to skip this step. Now let's get ready to watch TV. Out of the box, your LG Smart TV defaults to an energy saving mode, which you can switch off here if you want. It also assumes that the TV is for home use. Then it will ask how you get your TV service. So click on this question, then on the choice that best describes your setup. First option if you use a cable or satellite set-top box. The second if you connect the cable feed from the wall directly into the TV. The third if you use an over-the-air antenna or click I don't have TV service if it's not relevant. Lastly, enter your zip code. To expedite the configuration of your particular service, then click OK. If you use a set-top box, connect it now. Then tell the TV which port it's attached to by clicking the correct option on this drop-down list. If it's connected properly and powered on, you'll see the live TV signal in a window here on the right side of the screen. Next, click on the name of the company providing your TV service from this drop-down list. Then select the manufacturer of your set-top box, followed by the remote control code to set up universal control. You'll be given the chance to confirm that this is the right remote control setting. If you're able to channel up on the set-top box using the LG Smart TV remote, click It Works. If not, click Not Working, which will take you to this screen for troubleshooting suggestions. When you've completed this step, you'll see this confirmation screen. If you're using an off-air antenna, you'll also need to perform the automatic scan for your local channels. Take a look at the legal agreement, then click Next. This will take you to the first two user agreements, and we encourage you to read the terms of use and privacy policy, both of which expand when you point the magic remote at them before clicking Agree, or you can review them later at your convenience. Next are three additional user agreements, viewing information, voice information, and personalized advertising. You can select all or deselect any of them, and you can read the details of each by pointing the magic remote. Whether you click Agree or Later, you'll come to a summary page that lists which steps you have completed and which not. So go ahead and click Done, keeping in mind that you can access these tasks anytime in the future via the Settings app. Again, some of these steps will allow you to skip ahead by clicking at the bottom of the screen here or return to the previous screen by clicking at the top. But not all features will be available to you until you properly complete all of the steps. But for now, take a cue from Beanbird. Sit back and enjoy your home with your new LG Smart TV with WebOS.